to cease all hostile engagement and prepare for Battle Royale match transport in five, four, three, two, one. So today we're going to take a look at Islands of Nine Battle Royale by Define Human Studios, currently in closed alpha and first person only. Built in Unreal Engine 4, so of course I'd give it a go. Currently only playable on weekends, I didn't get much time to play, but what I did play, I really enjoyed. Starting off in the lobby while waiting for a match to start, we had the gun game to keep us company. Getting two kills in the lobby's gun game would unlock the next weapon, the same as any other gun game I guess but it's a good way to get a feel for weapons before you enter a match. One thing that stood out for me and probably made me enjoy it more was the 80s vibe, neon lighting, synth music, and that female voice commentating on the match as it progresses. Avoid hazardous zone at all costs. You may have noticed from the intro, players wearing some kind of neon nanosuit, making it easier to be spotted, but you don't take fall damage and you can find body armor and helmets around the map. The map itself is fairly large and detailed, with lush wooded areas, a lot of the structures are medieval in style, like castles and towns, but there is a swamped area with Aztec pyramids. Our futuristic HD 720p nanosuit wearing combatants land like badasses in ancient battlegrounds, collect loot and fight to the death to claim victory. We have our typical set of firearms, pistols, SMGs, sniper rifles, shotguns and ARs. We are equipped with a knife we can melee and throw from the start. The gunplay mechanics themselves feel like your regular shooter. It had a much more casual feel to me than, say, from Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. The sound design, as I've said earlier, is probably why I like the Alpha so much. From the 80s synth to the pulsing bassy sound of the zone as it comes in. As for the zone, you cannot see through either way, so you won't be shooting people trying to get to safety, or shooting people from outside the zone while they are already safe, which personally I really like. Looting players isn't the easiest as loot stays on their body, health packs are on their waist, as well as grenades, and weapons are stuck to their back, so it can be a bit finicky, unlike just going into a loot box or loot bag and quickly swiping all the goodies. And sometimes there can be quite a few you find on a player. Pressing tab to open up your inventory also brings up a crisis style weapon customization, for the currently equipped weapon of course, where you can attach things like red dots, hollows, 4 scope, 8 scope, laser sights and suppressors. A suppressor for your weapon is a must-have as it makes you nearly inaudible from more than about 50 meters away. But as I said earlier, I didn't play too many games. This weekend I will get more time in and hopefully a stream if I can. So if you're eager to see more about Islands of Nine Battle Royale, come and check it out. Also, just about a year ago I uploaded the Islands of Nine Kickstarter campaign trailer. I will link that in the description below for you guys to check it out as it mentions three maps in development, vehicles to come and much more. So what do you think with this information for Islands of Nine? Have you played the alpha yet? Does the 80s vibe tickle your fancy? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you peeps next time. Plasma field paused. Next safe zone indicated. Must be inspected upon re-entry to human maintenance chamber.